<laughs> I can't make this up. I actually swore at the end of it because I was so shocked as to how good of a job that it did. I had a momentary lapse of judgment. I had to cut it and edit it out. So it, in case you heard it or like you kind of heard it, you're, you're not going crazy. I never thought I'd be so excited to review a sewing machine before. This is the Brother ST371 HD sewing machine. And judging by the amount of hieroglyphics on the side of it, it can do a lot of different things. And we'll, we'll get to that. I'm SD and that's great that it can do a lot of different things, but I primarily just like to take my baggy clothes and make them, make them not baggy anymore. And in addition to that, I like to take said crappy clothes and make them look better than the clothes that people spent a whole bunch of money on that look really baggy. Now, what I wanna know is, is this machine, is it gonna be able to do that better than my current machine? Well, let's start here. What do you get in the box? Well, okay, you get a sewing machine and you get the foot pedal, AKA the gas pedal, and you get some extra presser feet as well as an instructional DVD. And what are those presser feet you might be asking? Well, you get a buttonhole foot, a nonstick foot, a button sewing foot, a blind stitch foot, a spring action zigzag foot, and uh, last but not least, you get a zipper foot too. And this is the part in the video where I would show you what those presser feet look like, which I would do if someone didn't throw away the box before I could take them out. So we can't have nice things in this family. And to be honest, in all reality, you don't want to watch me just like rummaging through the box, taking all the stuff out, just listening to like the plastic crinkle around. It's, oh, it's so annoying. What you are really wondering is, does it actually work? Well, what I did is I came up with a, a super elaborate test. It's actually not elaborate at all, but. Now, Brother says that this is a strong and tough heavy duty sewing machine, so let's see how heavy duty this thing actually is. Oh, and super quick disclaimer, I actually got a phone call from my legal team telling me to stop dropping so many other brands' names in my videos because I'm actually not affiliated with them. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's try and work around that, shall we? Now, one of the biggest issues that I have with my current machine is tailoring shirts that I get from... Uh, my, my, my local retailer and uh, and having the thread kind of just get kind of bunched up underneath there or just having the machine just overall struggle with what it is that I want it to do. And let's kind of ease into it a little bit. Let's, let's take it slow. Let's start with simulating tailoring a t-shirt or a dress shirt. I mean, it should be able to handle that, right? It, uh, it does pretty well. What I really like about it is just that the sound that it makes. It sounds really smooth, like, uh, 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 that, that German car company that makes cars that are really expensive to fix and that people buy for like, uh, you know, the whole social status aspect. Yeah, that brand. I used to drive one and whenever they told me what my total was, whenever I went to go get it fixed, they were always like, okay, that's going to be $5,672, please. How would you like to pay? Cash or credit? Anyway, it just sounds very just smooth, like a well-oiled machine. Like it just kind of goes from point A to point B and it doesn't have any hiccups along the way. It doesn't stutter at all. It just goes boom right through it and you are done. So this is our test fabric and I'm really, really happy with this. Look at this. We have a nice, perfectly straight stitch right here and there's no issues with any skip stitches. There's no pulling at all. It's just very clean and uniform. And this is the backside over here and it's the same. I had same kind of same thing nice and clean and straight no skip stitches nothing major at all this thing really really passed this test stitch looks good thread looks good it gets a definite pass for me on that one and now for the real test denim what i did is i uh, i took these pair of pants and i folded them over a couple of times to be able to simulate and replicate sewing through two pairs of pants at the same time or like two pant legs at the same time just in case you feel like getting a little bit squirrely and sewing through both of your pant legs at the same time I don't know, you do you, bro. The end was really the best, most surprising part because it did not stutter, it didn't hiccup, it didn't do any of that. Man, my current machine that I use, it would not have sounded like that at all. Let me give you the audio version of what happens with my current machine. It goes, Anybody who's ever used a sewing machine to sew through thicker materials knows exactly what I'm talking about. Now, like everything in life, not everything is gonna go according to plan at all. Now, I actually had 
had some issues with taking out the needle, replacing that universal needle with a denim needle, which is exactly what you want to do if you ever sew through denim. But it didn't matter. It did not matter in any way, shape, or form. This machine gave me zero issues with sewing through this thick piece of denim at all there was zero hiccups no qualms with it it just flew right through it this is my stitch it's again perfectly straight it looks great this machine handled sewing through this thick piece of denim with a universal needle better than my other machine sews through denim with a denim needle i don't really get how that works but again that's just that's just life bro and now for the best test outerwear because see not a lot of sewing machines can really handle outerwear very well my current machine it can do like a like a lighter jacket let's say but what if you want to uh, take in the side seams of like a thicker winter jacket. Well, I've got just a test for you because now we're gonna try this sewing machine on my daughter's old winter jacket. It doesn't fit her anymore. She hasn't worn it in like a year and a half. And it's been sitting in the basement forever and I just haven't thrown it away or gotten rid of it. So I thought, hey, this will be the best opportunity to get some use out of that jacket. And if it goes well, then that means that this sewing machine is really kind of your one-stop shop as far as, you know, upgrading or buying a new sewing machine. Cause yo, know, you can kind of then use it on kind of anything you want. You don't have to really worry about pigeonholing yourself into a machine where it can only really handle some of the projects you want it to do. But if you want it to do anything heavy duty, then you gotta end up upgrading later on. When you could have just done that from the beginning. No skip stitches, no bunching, no none of that. What I ended up doing is I kind of simulated as if you were to uh, take in the side seams of a jacket. So what I did is I just folded it over and I sewed right through it. And it handled it like a champ. Now, it's one thing to, you know, have a, a nice straight stitch like that with no skipping or anything. But it's a whole other thing just kind of listening to it. It didn't hesitate. It didn't freak out. It just went right through it with ease. And now knowing how many more projects I can handle with this thing is amazing. Because because it's one thing to be able to tailor a t-shirt or a dress shirt, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of lighter materials. And my old machine, it could handle jackets, but like I said, it could only handle lighter jackets. But this one, you can throw anything at this machine and it'll just eat through it right like a champ. And that is awesome. Holy smokes, I got some real cool video ideas for you guys in the future. And I'm really excited to go way more in depth into this machine in the future, but I just want to keep this very high level, very preliminary. We're gonna kinda get into the nuts and bolts and the nitty and gritty and the ins and the outs in the future, but let's just keep it, let's keep it up here for now. And then in the future, we're gonna, we'll dive deeper. I mean, there's like eight different features on this machine that I haven't even talked about yet and I'm really excited to do. Shout out to my guy Brian Swisher over at Brothers Sewing Machines. That was really awesome of you to send me this machine, man. Like seriously, that was really dope. That's all I got for you, SD out. See ya.